Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CCT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is by Lily Moon and Dante. And you're probably wondering, wow, what one is it? This is Andante, or this is Andante. I have done it on a little bookmark. It hasn't got any shading. This is Andante. But the reason you're seeing this one right here is that I've had several requests of how do you decide what to put together and how do you combine tangles on um, on a tile or then uh, tangle inspired art and all tangles really go together you like some you don't like some and so I'm just going to explain a little bit about how I did this particular one and then we'll do andante this particular tangle um, was I decided, okay, I'm going to tangle every journey in life begins with a little faith. And I thought, what shall I use? So I looked at the word journey and faith. And I thought, I'll just pick tangles to start with the, the letters in those words. And that's kind of how it helps me. So I looked at journey and I said, well, I could do um, Jokey here. That starts with J. And um, I could do Nymph. That's an N. And I could do um, Frost Flower. That's an F. And I, that's kind of how I picked them. I just went through... And pick. So I have made a list, a PDF, a PDF file of all the tangles I have on my YouTube site, and I will give that list to you at the bottom in a in a link at the bottom of this video, so you can kind of just go through, pick out your favorites. Maybe that's the way you want to go. Maybe you want to number them, draw them out of a hat, but. Or you can use your name and you pick tangles that start with your name. But they really will all pretty much blend together. That's the Zen Tangle way. So let's put this aside and let's get our tile. I have a white tile here and I have a gray tile. I really like working on gray paper because I can give it a little highlights with um, a jelly white jelly roll or a charcoal a white charcoal pencil so I really like working on the gray paper and we'll start with a dot in the corners and I'm not going to put a string in here I'm just going to use andante as the string so andante starts with just a wavy line. And of course we're all going to probably have a little different wavy line and change it a little bit. Lily Moon is an absolute beautiful tangler and her shading and her combining is absolutely beautiful. So now we're going to start and at the at the bottom of this hump, right on this side, I'm going to draw a line down and I'm going to spiral Make a spiral in. And then I'm going to do it on this side. And spiral in. And I'm going to alternate. I have tried this on just rotating my tile. But I found alternating on Andante worked better for me. And there we alternated back and forth. And now I'm going to come with Andante and I'm going to do a little cap over that. So I start here at the spiral and go up and come down. So it's a kind of a little cap. Andante looks 
so plain, but as you know, Lily Moon never leaves anything plain. And we'll come back and we're going to echo this line right here all the way down. And I'm just going to rotate my tile a little tiny bit as I echo, keeping that shape. Now to give this some um, of the drama that it needs, and Lily always has a lot of drama in her tangles, we're going to come back and we're going to color in. Now when I color in, I leave a little a little spot that's not colored in and it's kind of jagged, it's not round. And that is a little glisten of just makes it have a little sparkle, a little light. And I always it's usually kind of jaggedy from my pen. I like how that looks. If it's a perfectly square, it just doesn't look like it catches the light exactly right. And I'm going to finish I'm going to do this on all of these. Come and I'm just going to fill this in. And I'm going to leave myself a little spot. I'm going to kind of stripe these on Andante going down. And I, I don't really like to leave an end, so I'm going to come back here and fill in that very little tail black. If I can, I like to fill that in. I don't like to leave it white. So there we have that step in and Dante done. Now Lily comes back and she does a little V line here and then caps it off. And then on the other side, she caps it off. You notice I made my cap kind of rounded. I think that is um, kind of goes with the tangle. Now I have my little caps, and I'm going to come back in, and Lily does just some couple of straight lines. So here it's kind of you can do what, how you want. You can fill in any way you want. I'm just going to do mine so they come down into that. They just work their way down into that point. Now, we can do some embellishments. We can come back and make a little ball on the end of here. That kind of adds a little bit to it. Shading will add a ton of texture to this tangle. So what would you do on either side? You could just pick a tangle that you like and um, for instance, I haven't done nymph for a while, so I'll do nymph. And I'm just going to start by drawing some lines. I'm going to grid off this section. And you notice that my grid goes right down in and touches this tangle. And now I'm going to cross grid it. And I can, Nymph is a lot, is like a sister to Nazepal. 
a baby sister to Nazepo. Because that's what happened. One day I was doing Nazepo and Nymph just showed up. I did an extra line and so we then we did grids that went both directions. So now we've just done it right then and we'll do what you would be known as Nazepo. And I'm just gonna nestle it right down in next to this pattern of Andante. And that is the Tangled Nazepo. Now I'm going to bring back my um, Every Journey Begins with, Every Journey in Life Begins with a Little Faith. And you can see this is Nymph. And it's done on just a different way of Nazepo. See, where did I put... There it is. There you can see that I've done um, Nazepo here, and then I've colored in the background of a, a little Nazepo. And if I, I could color in to get Nymph, I would just draw lines out from the center. little organic tangle and then I would fill in this space and there you have nymph and with a little shading you can and do some embellishing you can get some really fun tangles and it's just a matter of squeezing them in one thing that I I did string this journey there's a journey and I'll just show you how I put this string in it I just did a little echoism, kind of back and forth. I don't know if you can see that, but I just did this string, and that's the string for this. You, it kind of erases in the center. You really don't see it. If you were here, you, would, you could see that I've got some other lines going. But that was my string, and then I just started to draw. I hope that helps. There we have Nen um, Andante by Lily Moon. Have a great day and enjoy.